article tries to answer the question, how has the Communist Party stayed in power all this time? Because after 89, everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people in the West predicted, you know, sort of these guys have one foot on a banana peel and one foot <coughs> out the door. They're going to they're gonna sink. A friend of mine wrote a book called China in Disarray, right, but it hasn't fallen apart. So I was trying to get at, tease out the answer to the question of how have these guys done it? And basically, uh, my thesis uh, is that obviously they've had this massive economic growth, and the growth up until now has been not really egalitarian growth, but everyone feels that they have a sense to improve themselves. And they've gone from what essentially was sort of a fourth or a fifth world society to a society where they have a growing middle class, a you know, significant number of rich people, and also but the people on the bottom feel like they actually can move up. Uh, and so, yes, they have traded this sort of political freedom, but at the same time, they've also done other things. For example, in the cities, they've conducted a massive housing reform campaign where families now, basically 80% of the families in Chinese cities own their own houses, which wasn't the case many years ago. And so from that perspective, it is kind of an ownership society. They do have a stake now. And that's created kind of a conservatism, specifically among the middle class. Whereas in 89, when people were marching, they didn't own anything. So they didn't, they didn't have anything to lose. But now people are more reluctant to protest in some ways because they have something. They have an apartment, they have a car, they have a big screen TV. And they don't want to lose those nice things that they have, even though they would like to see an evolution to a freer society. At the same time, personal freedom in China has also expanded significantly. So in 89, you know, you couldn't get divorced if your boss said no. You couldn't get married until your boss said yes. Your boss had, was the one who t would tell you when you could have your one child. Uh, when you graduated from college, you were assigned a job, all these type of things. Those type of things have all stopped, right? You can marry whoever you want, whenever you want. You can get divorced as long as the court agrees. Uh, you can have your one kid, it's still only one kid in most places, whenever you want. And you're, you're on your own to find your own job, and you can travel abroad without having to bribe a cop to get a passport. And so these type of freedoms that we considered normal, they didn't. And now they're considered more normal, and that personal freedom has expanded as well.